Imagine a world locked in an icy embrace where colossal beasts roam the frozen plains. These creatures, adapted to the harshest of climates, thrived in a world that seems almost alien to us today. Among them stalks a predator, a creature of immense power and size, the dire wolf. This formidable hunter was a master of its icy domain. This legendary hunter, larger than any wolf alive today, once ruled the Pleistocene landscapes of North America. Its presence was a testament to the brutal and unforgiving nature of the Ice Age. But its reign, like the Ice Age itself, eventually came to an end. As the climate warmed and the ice sheets receded, the world of the dire wolf began to change dramatically. The dire wolf, or meaning fearsome dog, has captured our imaginations for decades. Its bones, preserved in tar pits and fossil beds, tell a story of a time long past. Its imposing skeleton, unearthed from the asphalt graves of the La Brea tar pits, hints at a creature both familiar and strikingly different from the wolves we know. These remains offer a glimpse into the dire wolf's formidable presence. What was the world of the dire wolf truly like? How did it navigate the challenges of its environment and the competition from other predators? How did it thrive alongside iconic Ice Age giants like mammoths and saber-toothed cats? The dire wolf's interactions with these massive creatures were crucial to its survival. And what ultimately led to its demise? Was it climate change, competition, or a combination of factors that sealed its fate? Let us step back in time and explore the fascinating story of this apex predator. Join us as we uncover the mysteries of the dire wolf's world and its place in the history of our planet. The dire wolf roamed the Americas for over a million years from the late Pleistocene epoch to the early Holocene, roughly 125,000 to 9,500 years ago. This ancient predator was a dominant force in its ecosystem, adapting to the changing climates and landscapes over millennia. Its presence was felt across a vast expanse of territory, showcasing its incredible resilience and adaptability. This period, marked by fluctuating glacial cycles, presented a mosaic of habitats. These cycles created a dynamic environment where only the most adaptable species could thrive. The dire wolf, with its robust build and keen hunting skills, was perfectly suited to navigate these challenges. Dire wolves, remarkably adaptable, thrived across these diverse environments. From dense forests to open plains, their ability to hunt a variety of prey allowed them to sustain their populations in different regions. Their range extended from the frigid plains of Canada to the grasslands of Mexico, encompassing woodlands, coastal areas and even the water's edge. This wide range highlights their versatility and the broad spectrum of their ecological niche. Fossil evidence suggests they shared these landscapes with a menagerie of now extinct creatures mammoths, mastodons, giant sloths, and the formidable saber-toothed cat. These interactions were crucial as they shaped the dire wolf's hunting strategies and social behaviors. These animals were not merely cohabitants, they played crucial roles in the dire wolf's story, shaping its evolution and ultimately influencing its fate. The predator-prey dynamics of this era were complex and interwoven, with each species impacting the survival of the others. The Pleistocene epoch, though harsh, provided an abundance of prey, fueling the rise of this formidable predator. The dire wolf's success was a testament to its adaptability and prowess, securing its place as one of the apex predators of its time. The dire wolf was a formidable predator, built for power and endurance. Larger and heavier than its modern grey wolf cousin, it possessed a set of teeth designed for crushing bones, a testament to its hunting prowess. Unlike modern wolves, which often rely on speed and stamina to chase down prey, the dire wolf was likely an ambush predator. Its stockier build and powerful bite suggest it relied on brute force to take down large herbivores. Evidence points to a diet primarily composed of megafauna, mammoths, mastodons, horses, bison and camelids. Working in coordinated packs, dire wolves could bring down these giants, their bone-crushing jaws making short work of even the toughest hides. Section 4. Dire Wolf vs. Grey Wolf, A Tale of Two Wolves While often compared to the modern Grey Wolf, the Dire Wolf had distinct features that set it apart. Yes, both are canids, sharing a common ancestor, but the Dire Wolf's evolutionary path diverged, leading to a unique set of adaptations, physically 
The dire wolf was larger and heavier with shorter limbs and a larger head. Its teeth, as we've seen, were designed for crushing, while the gray wolves are better suited for tearing flesh. These differences reflect their distinct hunting strategies and preferred prey. The dire wolf's brain, however, was proportionally smaller than the gray wolf's. This suggests that while the dire wolf was a powerful predator, it may have lacked the social complexity and adaptability of its modern cousin. Section 5, The Mystery of Extinction, Unraveling the Dire Wolf's Fate. The disappearance of the dire wolf, along with many other large mammals during the late Pleistocene extinction event, has puzzled scientists for decades. While the exact reasons remain a topic of debate, several factors likely contributed to their demise. Climate change at the end of the last glacial period undoubtedly played a significant role. As temperatures rose and glaciers retreated, the megafauna that the dire wolf depended on began to disappear, unable to adapt to the rapidly changing environment. Competition from other predators, including the arrival of humans in North America, may have also put pressure on dire wolf populations. Humans, with their advanced hunting techniques and ability to alter landscapes, could have outcompeted dire wolves for dwindling resources. Section 6, Digging Up the Past, Fossil Discoveries and What They Tell Us. Much of what we know about the dire wolf comes from an extraordinary fossil site, the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. This site has been a treasure trove for paleontologists, providing a wealth of information about the prehistoric world. This natural asphalt seep trapped and preserved the remains of countless animals, including thousands of dire wolves. The tar acted as a natural preservative, keeping the bones intact for thousands of years. The tar pits offer a unique window into the past, revealing not only the physical characteristics of the dire wolf, but also insights into its behavior and interactions with other species. By studying these fossils, scientists can infer how dire wolves hunted, lived, and even how they might have died. The sheer number of dire wolf fossils found at La Brea suggests they may have lived in larger packs than modern wolves. This social structure could have been a key factor in their hunting strategies and survival. Other fossil sites across North America continue to yield valuable information. Each site offers a different piece of the puzzle, contributing to our understanding of the dire wolf's range and adaptation to various environments. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, helping us to paint a more complete picture of this remarkable creature and the world it inhabited. The ongoing research and new findings ensure that our knowledge of the dire wolf continues to grow, offering fascinating insights into the prehistoric past. Section 7. The Dire Wolf's Legacy, A Lasting Impression The dire wolf, though long extinct, continues to captivate our imaginations. Its imposing presence has earned it a prominent place in popular culture, from literature and film to television and video games. Beyond its cultural significance, the dire wolf holds immense value for scientific research. Studying its fossils provides invaluable insights into past ecosystems, climate change and the evolution of canids. As technology advances, we can extract even more information from these ancient bones, unlocking further secrets of the dire wolf's biology and behavior. The story of the dire wolf serves as a poignant reminder of the power of nature the interconnectedness of life and the importance of understanding our planet's past to safeguard its future. 